Hi friends. <laughs> it's been it's been a week, uh, a little over a week since we last checked in. I apologize for the glare coming off this car. I tried to fix it, can't do it. Um, I'm filming this on my phone. I'm here at the gym and this is actually the, actually the first time that I've gotten out of the house by myself since last Friday. So, <laughs> um, first of all, we're moved back into the RV wonderful update um we've got a video that we're kind of a vlog that we're working on starting from last saturday i think that i just have not had time to edit um, or even finish and i guess this is kind of part of the reason why i wanted to just upload this quick video i say quick it's not gonna be quick but this non-edited video um and just kind of talk to y'all about what's been going on with the baby I know we haven't done a whole lot of updates and y'all can probably imagine just how, how busy um, we've just had our hands full um, being new parents and kind of bouncing in between uh, families, houses, and now we're finally back in the RV because we haven't been in the RV since she was born. We were staying with my parents for the first several weeks and then we stayed with Matt's parents while he worked on uh, cleaning the RV. So he did a full deep clean that y'all saw in our last vlog. He was talking a little bit about it. Like a full deep clean. And it's just something we've been needing to do for a while. And I didn't want to move Eva in whenever there was a possibility of some, I don't know, random mold or dust. Luckily, I mean, he scrubbed everything and he checked all the storage areas everywhere that there was mold last year that we cleaned twice already. Um, he cleaned again. There was no mold. Um, just made sure that, you know, there wasn't a bunch of, like, dander floating around and all the dog hair is gone. Um, the dogs are next door, by the way. They're staying with the in-laws while we're adjusting to life in the RV with Eva. Um, we're figuring out that whole situation. They're not going anywhere. Uh, we just, having them in the RV with Eva right now is not something that we want to do. Just, we want to figure out kind of navigating the space in the RV first before we bring them in. So, that's that. We'll have the vlog up hopefully by next week. I can't promise anything to you guys. Um, every day is just so different. And Eva is now seven weeks old. I just can't, I can't believe how fast things are going. She's almost two months. We have her um, two month appointment next week. Sometime we need to schedule it, but next week. And it's just, it's crazy how fast time is flying. And I think that's one of the reasons why we haven't been uploading or even filming much because we're just focusing on being with her, just holding her and and hanging out with her and, and each other as much as possible. And my first thought isn't to pick up the camera. Um, as much as I'd love to vlog all of this, I'm just like, just focused on her. And I'm okay with that because I, I'm, you know, the the memories that we're making right now are going to be forever. Like this, these are the first few weeks with our baby, with our first baby. That's crazy. Um, and I've been wanting to share it for both ourselves so we can have those videos back, you know, to look back at later in, later in life. But, um, I've been wanting to share it with y'all. I just haven't, just haven't picked up the camera. Um, and I guess another thing that I wanted to talk a little bit about Y'all know that I've always been very open about our life, about my life, my struggles with um, basically anything, anxiety specifically. Um, and I think for the first, I on and off now, um, I've, I've had a good amount of anxiety um, and I, I think borderlining postpartum depression. Um, we went to my, our six week checkup um, last week and they were asking me about all that stuff and I didn't. I didn't come out with postpartum depression. They had you fill out like a questionnaire and she was asking me a bunch of questions about how I've been feeling. Um, but it, it was kind of borderline. So she said that that's something we want to keep an eye on. If things get worse or they continue, I need to go talk to, you know, a specialist about it. And it's not something that I feel has been necessary to talk to a specialist, but just to talk about in general, um, because keeping things to yourself tends to, at least for me, it makes it worse. And so, um, I think that I've, I've been dealing with some of that since she was born. Um, I didn't realize it until about two weeks in and, uh, it's more so just, um, just an overall anxiety, uh, and depression of being alone, 
not necessarily like alone with and I mean I'm not alone I know I'm not alone um, but I think alone with her and the fear of of not being able to take care of her the way that I need to um, I'm sure a lot of it relates to my breastfeeding struggles which I've talked about on my fitness channel that's like below um, but I think not being able to care for her, give her what she needs, um, provide for her by myself and just, just being anxious about, just being anxious about her, um, not having what she needs. And I think that anytime Matt would leave, um, it's, it's gotten a lot better, but anytime Matt would leave, um, he, I, I had this overwhelming fear of just being alone with her um, it's weird it's really hard to explain I'm sure some of you moms out there <laughs> I'm sure some of you moms out there can relate um, because it's it's not that I don't want to be alone with her because I, I love her more than anything but it's just I think just that fear that fear of not being able to do what I need to for her um, and I think some of it kind of boiled down to not being in our own space too because in the RV everything is really really easy everything's really close which I, I'm loving um so when I am alone with her you know she's getting a bottle or doing whatever I need to isn't far away um versus in at my parents house it's we were staying upstairs all the stuff for bottles and milk was downstairs um and then at parent Matt's parents house it's we were in a separate room so it's like you having to carry her while she's screaming and um I don't know I don't know I'm still kind of navigating all of that and processing it but it's definitely gotten better um but I think a lot of that has filtered into um not filming because I've, I've just been overwhelmed with all of the new parent life and just picking up the camera one I, I just wanted to I've just been wanting to be with her um but two it's just the thought of doing anything in addition to already taking care of this new precious fragile little life um it just kind of overwhelms me so then we I would film something and then I would just not have time or the energy mental or physical to um to edit so I think also a lot this is just me talking but um I think a lot of that too had to do with not getting out of the house enough because it's hot it is hot here in Texas um it's hitting hundreds daily now and so getting outside is not great <laughs> for her she's so small it's so hot the sun is beating down um there's quite a few mosquitoes out too um so if y'all have any tips on how to keep mosquitoes off of my teeny tiny baby let me know um yeah mosquitoes are bad it's just hot so I haven't been going outside um so I think that had a lot to do with it which I'm I'm now when I'm trying to get outside more with me and Eva uh we just have to do it early and then two I'm taking some vitamin d because I'm definitely not getting enough of that with diet and my daily life um, so I think a lot of that had to do with it, hormones, like there's, there's all kinds of stuff going on. Um, but it's just, it's something that I've been kind of struggling with and I know that a lot of moms struggle with it. Um, just, just a fear, general fear, anxiety, some depression, not a lot, um, but it's mostly those first two. And, you know, because you, you go into this not knowing necessarily what to expect like yeah you understand you have this life to take care of but once she's actually there home with you and then whenever I was left alone I think it's just this like overwhelming sense of I want to take care I want to keep her in a bubble essentially I want to protect her from anything and everything and that deep down knowing I can't um we're not supposed to you know it's things are going to happen um We'll do our best. We are doing our best. I think we're doing a good job. But yeah, it's it's just a, kind of a strange place to be. Um, and that's kind of where I've been. And that's really, really led to why we haven't been um, vlogging as much. But I think now that we're back in the RV, um, I've, she's she's a little easier now because she's getting, she's less fragile. Um, she's getting a little more uh, durable. <laughs> she's holding her head up. And, you know, there's, 
less like I, I kind of understand her cries now like certain cries about food certain cries about just being bored um so we're 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 getting to know each other pretty well and Matt's been the most amazing help that I could ever ever hope for he's he's just the best dad getting emotional um he's the best dad ever it's just it's so cool to see him talking to her and holding her and it's just awesome so I can ho hopefully we can share some of that with you guys soon um we have amazing family they've been so helpful just just being close by family for all of this time has been more helpful than I could ever know um because I think dealing with with this um not necessarily that I, I've talked openly to anybody else about it um but just knowing that help is not far away has been really, really great. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what, what I've been dealing with in, you know, in the background. Um, I don't know if, if any of you guys, I don't know. It just, there's been a lot going on internally and it's not that I'm just, we're sitting and doing nothing. Um, Matt working all at the same he didn't have any any leave for um Eva he took he took a week off whenever she was born um but he was still on his emails and taking phone calls and stuff so he's been working since she was born um and he actually had like I think the best month of sales that he's ever had at his company in June when she was brand new and so he was oh and then they had a ton of shows too for his band. Um, I don't know. I don't know how he does it all. I just, he's just awesome. Um, yeah, so that's kind of been going on in the background. Um, I really, really want, I truly do want to, to film and, and upload more videos for my own personal enjoyment, but I know that you guys are looking forward to just kind of being a part of our, our journey again. Um, the not so wondering why it's that's kind of what we've turned into but that's part of that's part of life um and I don't know it's just we're doing good <laughs> we're doing good um there's just a lot for me to to process emotionally I've I've always been an emotional person I've always been an anxious person person always been an anxious person and this is you know just a whole new level but it's like I said, it's, it's getting better every day. And then of course she just makes everything worth it. She just, all I have to do is just look at her sweet face and those anxieties fade away. Um, it's incredible. Like she's, she's amazing. She's absolutely amazing. So I, I want to share more of, of her with you guys because of just, I don't want to cry before I go into the gym, but just her sweet little face I feel like could just bring world peace <laughs> like how can you not look at that face or how can you look at that face and not be happy I just and not have hope and feel like something I don't know it's just awesome so on the one hand being parents is the most incredible enjoyable easiest because she makes it easy just looking at her wonderful thing ever but on the other hand, it's been the hardest mentally and physically. It's the hardest thing that I've ever done. Um, birth was easy compared to what, <laughs> compared to this. Um, but that's okay because we, like I said, she makes everything worth it and we couldn't, we couldn't be happier. Um, I couldn't be happier, but there's just a lot at once. I don't know. If any of you moms can relate, I would love to hear from you below. Um, I know it's a lot more common than, than we understand. I think a lot of people don't talk about it because there's kind of a stigma about postpartum depression. And um, I think the baby blues is a thing too, which may be what I was dealing more with. It's like the first two weeks after you have a baby. Um, but yeah, so if, if in future videos, just FYI, um, if I don't seem like my normal self, um, happy and, and positive, like if I seem tired, y'all can know why. Y'all can understand why now. That's it. 
Um, I'm gonna go work out because I need this this time to myself and, and my workouts. Um, I've been cleared to work out get back into my normal workouts not just go from zero to 100 but um, I've been cleared to get back into my normal workout routine so um, I'm gonna be picking up the hopefully intensity with um, my nutrition and my exercise because I'm ready to start feeling just good again and strong and uh, so I'll be documenting more of that on my fitness channel and then I know that Matt's gonna be trying to get healthier again too because it's we basically just been eating anything and everything that we can <laughs> it's like we've been very opportunistic with food if um, family has something ready or if they're stopping to get something we accept because I don't know when I'm gonna be able to make anything for myself like the other day this is it's terrible the other day um, I didn't I am tracking my calories to make sure I'm eating enough but the other day I didn't eat near anything for the whole day just because I was so busy with Eva and pumping um and then I think we had Matt was going to meetings and stuff um I think at like nine o'clock I had over 2,000 calories to eat and it's and I sat there and just stuffed my face while Eva went to sleep um didn't feel good so anyway we're gonna start taking better care of ourselves and I know that that's gonna filter into um the idea the the anxiety um, and everything like that because when I'm working out and when I'm taking care of my body drinking enough water sleeping a good amount as much as I can um, I feel a thousand times better and my anxiety is much better so um, y'all can look forward to more videos uh, I'm gonna go get my workout in and enjoy it and love y'all thank y'all for just all of the support and love that y'all have been sharing I know I haven't been responding to all the comments but y'all can probably understand why but I just, I don't know how all of you parents do it. And anybody with more than one kid, I don't know how you do it. <laughs> all right, guys, um, we will see you all soon. Have fun out there. Yeah, see you later.